we don't go out there and just execute, play fast. So um, put, put the pass on, you know. It's going to be a fun day, especially up front with the offensive linemen and the defensive linemen. Um, you know, we've been down here in that for about four days now. And, you know, Minnesota State University uh, facilities have been off, off the wall, off the charts. Um, and every year we come down here, every year I come down, I'm excited. You know, the fans are here. You know, that's a great atmosphere, and it just lets you know that football is back. So, uh, you know, we're excited. You know, we have a short training camp ahead of us, so that just means that you know, we have to make every day count. And uh, we can't have any days where we're taking a step back. And uh, that's Coach Zimmer's message. You know, there are no excuses this year. We just have to continue to hold each other accountable and uh, play biking football. Kenny, how can, uh, you know, Laquan Treadwell potentially help you with, you know, the, his characteristics, his size, his catching radius? How can that help you out? I think uh, it's going to help us out a lot. And uh, there's a reason we drafted him in the first round. He has um, nice size. He has nice size, uh, big catch radius, and uh, he's a guy. If you look at Coach Turner's track record um, back in the days, uh, you know he had those big receivers who would go across the middle and do different things. So, you know, Laquan is going to continue to remain a student of the game and learn from those guys in that room. We've seen you throwing deep a little bit so far in camp. Is that something to work on coming in? Um, you know. It's just uh, taking what the defense is giving me. Uh, it's part of my progressions. And, uh, you know, it goes back to me having that aggressive mentality you know, and uh, being relaxed physically. So uh, when I'm out there, you know, I'm physically relaxed, but you know, my, my mindset is to be aggressive and attack and uh, take what the defense is giving me. Teddy, how do you get a sense for timing on those deep balls in, in practice when sacks aren't a possibility? You know, it's all about uh, playing in rhythm. You know, um, as long as you're playing in rhythm, What's going on around you it doesn't even matter. You know, you hit that fifth step, the ball should be out. You hit that seventh step, the ball should be out. So uh, having that clock in your head, you know, factors out. You know, the, the pass rush. Teddy seems like Adam Thielen has an increased role each time we're back here. What do you see from him? Uh, Adam's a guy who, who plays with a chip on his shoulder. You know, I asked him a question in the locker room the other day: How many stars did he have coming out of high school? And uh, he said <laughs> he had NR next to his name. So. Uh, <laughs> You know, he's a guy, who, he comes from here, Mankato, you know, Minnesota State University. Uh, he's a Minnesota, you know, resident. So it means a lot to him, you know, to where the purple and gold. So um, every year that we've been back here, he's just been, you know, making progress. And that's what you want to see in the guys each year, each day. You know, you're taking advantage of the days and making progress. And we talk about playing in rhythm. Does that take some time to develop that and just trust that you can play in rhythm and make all the throws and not worry about the rush? You know, you know uh, it doesn't take time, you know. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, as long as you're playing a rhythm, you know, you trust what's happening. You know, sometimes uh, you want to see things happening, but in this league, when you're seeing things, that means you're too late. So you have to anticipate those throws and, you know, trust that your guy's going to be in the right place at the right time. And uh, that's what it all comes down to. On the seven-step drops, what's your comfort level now compared to, like, when you came into the league? You know, honestly, uh, we've been doing seven-step drops since I got here. And, uh, you know, my comfort level is just it's pretty much where it was three years ago. You know, I was very comfortable three years ago, and uh, I just have more experience in the system now. So, I, you know, I know what to expect. You know, when plays are called, I know what guy we're you know trying to get the ball to and things like that. So, uh, the seven step drop is just something that's you know comes natural to us in the system. How hard is it to do it the same at the same whenever you're got the adrenaline going with the same speed so that you can get the receivers time to get open? To you? You know, um, it just become you know, natural. Yeah, it's just a natural thing. You know, you play in rhythm, and uh, the rest take care of itself. You're you ended up talking a lot about throwing to a spot and not necessarily looking at the receiver as much as dropping back and throwing to the spot and wasn't going to be there. Are you at that point with these guys yet where you feel like those timing throws are going to be there? Yeah, I'm definitely at that point. And, uh, I'm going to continue to get better you know, in that field and all the other fields that I uh, feel like I need to work in. So, um, Coach Staff been doing a great job of just working with us so far. You know, um, and, um, just have to continue to just play fast. Who ended up showing up as part two of the 10 2 blows passing the Um, I had uh, Cordero, Stefan, Michael. Uh, Kyle had a bunch of weddings to go to that week. Uh, Charles Johnson got married that week. Uh, Adam came down and Isaac came down. So uh, it was a pretty decent one. How did you have it going? Was that in uh, July? 
Yeah, it was in July. Uh, it was very hot. You know, we were down in Miami, so now the guys, you hear the guys talk about the heat here, and it's like, man, it's nothing compared to what we were doing when we were in Miami with you. So, you know, it was great to get those guys down there, get those guys in a different environment. And, uh, you know, as, as you can tell, I feel like we have to take a step back. Were you surprised how popular that heat that he saw me go? find yourself, like, homing in something. We always sing it in these sports audiences. Man, uh, every time my mom sees me, she says, hey, Teddy, hey, Teddy. <laughs> but every time one of my family members sees me, well, that's the first thing they say. And uh, But no one can sing it like Oba Diet, you know. So, um, you know, I, it was a great experience, and uh, it's, it is a catchy phrase. What have you thought of the uh, young backs in camp? Uh, you know, all of those guys are doing a great job for us. And just, you know, doing the coaching staff is acting up them. And, you know, Right now, I feel like the guys are playing fast, and that's what's really big for us. Just playing fast, and we got to what you see. Um, going back to Treadwell a little bit, he's been staying after practices and working on his catching and his reaction time. Is that encouraging as a quarterback to see that in a wide receiver? Definitely. Uh, whenever any, anyone stands behind him, you know, putting in extra work, you know, that just shows that the game means something to him. You know, they want to be the best at what they're doing. And, you know, we have a bunch of guys who stay behind and catch jugs. Some guys are running gas and, do different things and work on, you know, the, the little things that's going to make them a better football player. So uh, it's exciting to see all the guys. You, know, you walk off the field and you can turn around and see a group of 15 guys, 20 guys stand behind and just, you know, working on the small things. Having Charles Johnson back up, how much does he elevate this group this year? You know, uh, Charles, he, he uh, digs for Darryl, all of those guys, you know, they help elevate all of those guys' game because each one of those guys do something different. When you put the tape on, it's like, man, how'd you do that? And now, you know, Charles is telling Cordell how he did one thing. Now Cordell can implement that into his game or vice versa. So um, it's a group that, that challenges each other. They help each other. And, you know, they're going to be big for us this year. A couple last ones for Teddy. How long do you think it'll take the offensive line with all the changes there, all the personnel and coaching? How long do you think it'll take to get all together? You know, I've been pretty impressed with what I've been saying. You know, uh, I think uh, the guys up front, they get the they get the message that you know, uh, competition is going to make the team better. So uh, you know, I'm excited for that group. Like I said, they get to put the pass on this afternoon and you know get to uh, quiet some of that noise. You know, some of the chatter that's been going on. And, you know, I can't wait to see those guys compete. And how is Matt Khalil looking? Zimmer spoke really well him the other day. I mean, if you heard Coach Zimmer, then you know he's obviously doing a good job. You know. I'm, I'm not here to, like I said in the spring, I'm not here to judge players or anything like that, but uh, it was coming from the head coach, and it's obviously you know, means something. What do you think about the variety of things your tight ends can do? How does that help you? Man, it, it helps a lot. You know, uh, all those guys are, are unique players. You know, uh, and there's something about all those guys that stands out. And uh, it's a great group. You know, those guys are working extremely hard. And, you know, just trying to be detailed players, whether it's in the run game or the passing game. And those guys also want to understand what the quarterback is thinking. You know, uh, you always hear that tight end is the quarterback's best friend. And, uh, we have a group of guys here who they think like quarterbacks. You know, they, they want to know, hey, why are you throwing this? And, you know, if you're not throwing this, then what's your second reason for progression? And having those kind of players on your team is, is, is very helpful because, you know, they have a second pair of eyes on the field and come off the field on the sideline. Get to talk to those guys and see what they saw. Thanks. Thanks, Tim.